What's good, YouTube land? Is it time for Earthrise to get another wave poorly distributed in Canada? I feel like it is. This time, I've got Decepticon Airwave. So, uh, I, almost, I thought about picking up RC, and then I looked at it, and I'm like, Ugh, no. Mm. But uh, here's the box. There's a shot of one of his alt modes. There's that picture. There's a Decepticon logo right there. The word for Cybertron. I completely forgot to look something up. Excuse me for one second. That you guys won't see. There's the back. With the obligatory product shots. Oop, there's the bottom. Uh, where's TF Wiki? No, that's not what I wanted to click on. That's also not what I wanted to click on. Excuse me. Uh, there we go. Oop, not not that guy. Ooh, there are multiple people in Airwave, named Airwave. Oh, because he came with a uh, Minicon. All right. What? No, don't want to do that. All right. Well, <laughs> here's Airwave to move along through the air in a wave form. Uh, he is the uh, the modulator or the micromaster uh, set deluxe for wave for this wave. Is this wave two, three? I at this point, I don't even know. But yeah, I'm gonna go out on a well, I'll go out on them later. But I like him. Uh, there's something hilarious about his proportions. Maybe you can tell. Kind of looks like he either either has a really long crotch. Well, okay, no, he has a really he has a really small what it. He has a wasting problem. He has a problem with a waste. He barely has one. There's sort of a, a divide between the, the small thing that might be his waist and his crotch. But it is all one piece, so I don't know if they intend it all to be like he has a gigantic crotch and no waist. But this dude definitely looks like the kind of guy who works out because he has a crippling uh, uh, ego problem. Well, shut up, phone. I don't, I don't want to say ego problem, but uh, you know what I mean. Insecurity. He's so, he's so insecure he has to work out, but it's mainly in his chest and his uh, shins. But oh damn it, where's my brunt? Oh, he's hiding amongst my Decepticons. Oh, I say that because he does have. I think these thighs are the same mold as Brunt. Let me check. I forgot to do this before the stream. Not before the stream, before the video. Where? Oh, there's Brunt. Oh, God. Give me in. Nightmare. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I believe, no, they're not the exact same piece. Although here's Brunt, he is great. 
but uh, they're not the exact same piece, but they're kind of based off like ah his arm done his arm done fall off. But the uh, here, where's his? I'll give you a closer comparison. Their, their hips. They look like they're based off. Oh, they're okay. They're not. It's the uh, the thigh joints that look the exact same. That's what was giving me the uh, impression that he was a uh, like the same engineering as Brunt, but not exactly. Where shins. But what's hilarious is, besides that, I love his his squished little head. It's like, eh, he's pulling a Masters of Disguise. I'm a turtle. I think he's trying to get into into the turtle club. Is this not turtly enough for you? And I don't know about you, but I can't tell what color his eyes are. They're so sunken in there. Are they red? Are they yellow? Yeah. It's really hard to tell. Are they not colored at all or are they blue? <laughs> but I do like his head. I I like the color scheme. Uh I don't know, how do you guys feel about this Dorito y orange? This uh rung y orange. This roadbustery orange, this grapple orange. This, uh, control, no, not the exact same color as that, yeah, but I don't know. It, it doesn't immediately scream Decepticon to me. The only thing that really does say Decepticon are his double badges on his shoulder slash arm, on his left arm. But yeah, here, here's a comparison to another uh, Decepticon Micromaster. It's Grease Pit. Or ironworks. They they are very much the same color scheme, only Grease Pit has the benefit of some red and a not so bright orange, a bit more of a dull ye duller yellow. But I'm gonna go out a limb here, and if you guys want to join me on that limb, feel free. But I am, <laughs> it's a very thin limb. You might not want to join me out there for very long. But I think this guy is the best of these type of uh pull apart uh, MicroMaster cities. And you'll see why as we uh, transition, as we go through his modes. So I plug Brunt back together. Also, Brunt's great. But he's not a city. He's a suit. This guy doesn't count because he's not a city. He doesn't turn into a city. He turns into a tank or a set of armor. Or a, like... A rolling weapon on wheels, so yeah, he's basically a tank. But uh, diving back into the box for a second, we have the instructions right here, which I actually generally don't need. And uh, we'll take out this bit, this bit. His uh, star map, which. Does not have any wording on it, but I will eventually cut out at some point. Because that's what you're supposed to do with them, evidently. And this thing, I don't need another one. Yeah. No. Okay. So, else about the robot mode. Uh, there's a lot of detail. Well, it's kind of Earthrise standard. I like this gun. I kind of wish it were I don't know, painted in silver, maybe. It's definitely the best looking of these uh, MicroMaster accessory Frankenstein into a gun. Like, that handle definitely looks the least like something else. It's, supposed, it's like a conning tower thing like that. I wish the pegs were in black as well, like... I wish the pegs were painted, 
Because it's obviously just one whole chunk. Like, it's not, it's three pieces of orange plastic, human centipede together, as you can see inside. But, like, I wish they painted the, either paint the whole thing silver, give it a big uh, silver wash, or paint the nub, paint the uh, pegs in black as well, just to get them to match up. But it looks the least like something else like a a gas station uh gas pump so i like it and since it is three pieces human centipede together there are a, quite a few places you could put the other things you could put you could put one in his hand and give him a really tiny gun you can get like two guns, like two decent, well, one decent, and wow. <laughs> uh, these pegs like to wiggle themselves loose. Or as I was doing, you could give them the long sniper Zuka thing. Or the, I, I like to think it's a sniper rifle. And since there's a uh, a peg. And a port on each end of these, you could get a couple of uh, air wave and go for an infinitely long, not penis. Uh, yeah, his torso does is hilarious to me, given it's just basically a giant rectangle with sort of square boobs with some nice gunmetal gray. Uh, mechanical detailing inside. You could also take this, since it's it's got a port, you could plug it into his shin. So he's luring you, shooting you from the shin. You can do the same thing, oh, come on, on the other side. Uh, you could, you can, you can make this an upside down uh, shoulder mounted thing. Or, yeah, those were his shoulders and his shoulders. Things like that. You could plug the stick into his hand. While there aren't a ton of 5mm uh, ports on this guy, there's, I'd say, enough pegs and, uh, pegs and ports to uh, have a bit of fun with it. And the, that makes this guy like kind of more memorable in my book. Cause like he's, I have him here, and he's the only one where I, like, of these guys that I can actually remember the transformations. Because if I look at this guy, and say Brunt, I can't off the top of my head remember how they transform, or their weapon modes. Like, if you have only one transformation, I can remember, but like, but this guy. So far, I've had no, I've had to look at instructions maybe once since I transformed them three different times. So that gives Airwave a mark in my book, uh, articulation-wise. While his head is about the same line as his shoulders, and it doesn't look like he has a neck, he does have a neck. It's not a ball joint due to the uh, nature of things. It's only a swivel, and he does have a hinge for transformation. But eh, you can. Uh, get something out of that uh you could i don't know flip down this peg mm. uh wait oh wait no you can actually uh i'm trying to think there are two more pegs so you could peg his chest in there or oh, come on shoulder this panel but uh since it goes all the way out it kind of locks at certain points like the the arm kind of locks under it. You could do that kind of thing. You could actually plug plug his chest. This doesn't really come into play in the transformation, but you can plug his chest there. It's not really a mode. He uh, well, we'll I'll show you when I show you. So, yep, there's that uh, shoulder. It's on a peg. You can go all the way around, come out. The um, the sh the 
The bicep can go all the way out. You do get a, a swivel below, well, actually a swivel at the elbow and an elbow bend. These elbows are unfortunately frustrating to me a little bit because it it's designed in a way that if you're not supposed to move it when it's bent because it makes a sort of a soft rat, well, not a ratchet, but a soft thump. And it doesn't. It feels like that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed the the best way to use the elbow joint is to swivel it when it's low and then bend it, because that like feels like I might pop the joint out, and it doesn't feel good. Obviously, there's a swivel at each of these at the gun. Oh yeah, you could also plug the gun there, just as I showed before, but showing you for full. You can actually plug it into the back of his head. There's a port on the back of his head. You, you can't, unfortunately, do the full lockdown, uh, Age of Extinction lockdown uh, head transform into gun. Would That would be awesome, but you could plug just one of them behind his head and it wouldn't look too bad. Kind of give him uh, some kind of hairstyle. I don't know what kind of hairstyle that is, but it's a thing you can do. Uh, what else? Uh, same articulation on the other side. Swivel all the way out. Elbow. Nothing at the wrist on either side due to things. Waist swivel. Hip can go forward and back. Beautiful spread all the way out. Swivel, actually swivel here and here. So swivel. Calm down. You're not. I'm not jobby. Uh, knee bend, 90 degrees, and you get an ankle pivot. Very nice pivot. So articulation wise, yep, about everything I expect is there, minus a. Uh, a wrist and I uh, a wrist and a forward and backward ankle joint. Those would be nice. It's a shame he can't do the full beyond 90 degrees like a grease pit can. But that's more in the nature of the transformation. Due to the fact that it pegs in right there, kind of that panel in itself. And uh Overall, very solid robot mode. I like it a lot. It's fun to play with. There's not really anything you could call kibble. You, you try it. You can sort of call this kibble, but I like the fact that it it kind of flows with the arm and it feels like it's naturally a part of the arm. The only things that could be kibble are, the, and unfortunately, the hollowness in the backs of his shins. Oh, and you just also... A variety of other stuff you can do, like peg the shin in there, peg it in like that. We'll get into some of those in his uh, other modes. One thing I, this is maybe me asking for too much. I kind of wish the gray panel here swiveled. That would be fun. But the unfortunate thing is his head is like right in the way of that. His head isn't on the panel. It's just kind of behind it and it doesn't peg in. So his head would get in the way, but I'm sure they could have re-engineered it to put his head on top of it like a ball joint on a stem coming off the gray panel to have the whole thing swivel. That would have been fun. But yeah, then again, maybe I am asking for too much. But that being said, we do have to get into transformation. We have three different modes to go over. So we're going to just get start quickly uh, disassembling him. Again, uh, swivel the head. Rotate that in, take that off. You're going to take the everything off. First thing you want to do, flip these up, and there's a tab right here that goes into that slot right there. You just want to peg the thighs in so they're not going anywhere. You're going to want to take these legs. They're on multiple hinges, so you want to hinge that out. And I, I really like that, that, it, that this piece kind of hides away in the foot. That's really uh, good engineering in my opinion. 
So pull that all the way out like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And now we're going to tap them together. How are we going to tap them in together, you may ask? With the thighs. We're going to peg one, peg the foot. There's a port in the bottom of the foot onto each of the ports like that. They don't, these two don't uh, tab together at all. They just kind of sit right like that. Oh no, I plugged them in the wrong way. You're supposed to plug them in with those ports facing up because that's how uh, the body pegs in. So other thing you're gonna do, lock this arm so these two uh, gray panels lock together and those are gonna lock into the connect the receivers at the end of each shin, therefore locking this solidly in place. And then you're gonna take take the arm, rotate it so those two pegs are together, and you're gonna want to plug it in right there to, to solidify that even more. And then you take this piece and you're gonna want to plug it like this. Actually, uh, is it? I forget which way it goes around. Nope, yep. You want it to go that way. So it tabs in, or it pegs in, and it pseudo sort of slots into the feet. Uh, it's not way, no way to show you that without removing it, but no. Actually, th there are two little uh, sort of tabs right there on each end that sort of just go in. Well, they kind of do, but they also kind of don't. There we go. Just to, no, it's best to leave them flat down. And we're not done yet, we have the gun. So take the conning tower part of it, plug that in right there, and take each of these, and we're gonna plug them into the sides where the shoulders were. So they basically look like guns. And this is alt mode number one. This is a, um, What's it referred to? Uh, uh, hangar, basically. An airport. This is an airport. Or an airbase, excuse me. It's more commonly as an airbase. But I really like this mode for main reason. Everything comes together, and it's practically from the top. It's almost kibble-free. Like, you have to look at it from the bottom to see all the kibble in the back. But, like, just looking at it like this, it's probably one of the cleanest of these type, the uh, modulators, I've seen. And I really like that. Only in, Actually, I wouldn't consider this unfortunate. It's sort of a ramp if you want to make it up for uh, cars, because you can use it a similar way. And hilariously, it has four wheels on the bottom, so you can actually get a decent roll. It's an airport, or not an airport, but it's, <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, it's an airbase on wheels. That is hilarious. I imagine the people are like the, then the conning tower right here. I don't know how small the planes are, because uh, the only planes I have are about that big. Also, spoilers, I'll do these after. But, yep, it actually it rolls decently, even though it's got, like, four tiny gray casters. And everything, everything looks very smooth. Like, I like the look of the ramp. I don't know. I, I was really happy, really happy with this mode. There's uh, not much else besides modulator. You could plug the guns in everywhere you want there on the ramp. I imagine you could probably plug a Minicon here and here. He's got a 32 
on it for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, that's alt mode number one. Now we have to go to the next alt mode, which revolves somewhat removing everything again. Actually, you don't you only need to remove the guns and the legs, because we're gonna split the legs. Uh, disattach, disassemble the arm. Whoops. And so you're going to go from them plugged in like this to them plugged in like that. So plug them in like that. Plug this arm. Uh, how does this go? I think it goes like that. Basically plugged in under there. And do the same thing for the other arm, plug it in under there. And we're going to take the conning tower and plug one gun into it. And plug it in right there. And then take the other gun, plug it in. And that's the other, that's the other mode, another mode. The only thing I can refer to this as is a street. It's literally... Like, it's a bit awkward, I'll admit. It's not my favorite of the modes, because you've just got the arms just all kibbly and hanging out right there. But it is a thing that he can do. Connected to Grease Pit's uh, street mode. I don't know what this building would be, because it's got a big tower. I don't know what that building would be. I don't know. This is kind of the forgetful mode. The, yeah, the forgetful mode, in my opinion. It's not the most interesting. It's kind of the most awkward. But yeah, that's a mode. Now we're going to go into what I could loosely refer to as a vehicle mode. But you'll see what I mean. So we're getting again. Again, you can actually take these parts right off right now if you want. And you can fold these the feet down on their hit on their hinge they do kind of click lock into place like that and then you're gonna unpeg the thighs and you're gonna want to peg the thighs into the shins actually the other way around yeah it's always a little bit awkward but to think about but basically you want it to look like that and then we're going to take the uh the small gun pieces and plug them in right here and what you ref loosely refer to as a turret is what i think that's supposed to be so then take this piece and you're going to want to plug uh yep yeah. which way was it i can never remember Oh, it's this way. And unfortunately, yeah. That. Then you're going to want to plug the arm in. What? Why isn't it? Hmm. Do I have this upside down? I feel like I don't. No, I don't. Oh, I do have the, uh, okay, I do have the, the thighs. Yep, that's the problem. I have the thighs backwards. So, because those two little slots are going to peg into uh, tabs on the arms, essentially. Or not really, sort of almost, but you basically want it to look like that. And then take this whole section, plug it in on top, and then we just have a little bit of kibble to deal with. Take this uh, conning tower, plug it in like that. Take the arm. This is the only time this uh, peg is going to be used. It's going to plug into that port right there. So basically take the arm and swivel it around like that. Actually, no, I got that backwards. Swivel it. So it's sort of look like it's connected, but
but it's not really. And this is loosely, uh, you could loosely refer to this as a armament, not an armament, like a, a tank mode. I'm giving air quotes as heavily as possible. Uh, I'm looking a tre This is not a treaded aircraft carrier. Oh, a gun embankment. Okay. Oh, so the uh the, the the ramp, the city mode, the street mode is referred to as an airbase. Okay. That the the main mode is the aircraft carrier. Okay. It's an aircraft carrier. Cause that the uh, aircraft carrier is the mode they they introduced in this toy. Cause this mode and the uh, street mode are the G1 toys uh modes. But this is a gun embankment. Um, there's my first problem with it, unfortunately. It's got a bit of the old, uh, Limp Dick Jones syndrome. There's a direct shot to Taz, just because I can. Uh, I wish this piece actually sat up there. And for some reason, I thought this was a vehicle mode, but none of his wheels are touching the ground. And this is definitely a bit more kibbly than the other mode. That arm right there is obvious. But I don't hate it. It's funny to me. This mode is amusing to me. It's unfortunate, but even if I sit it down, you, you kind of have to sit it there and let it sit there. You can't really imagine driving it along. It's a flat surface. But, yeah. <sighs> and this arm just sitting here, while it is accurate to the G1 toy, it's kind of a bit unfortunate that it's just sitting there. You could do things with it, I suppose. There aren't really very many pegs. You could plug it in where in its... Uh, not it's uh, it's not it's uh what is the no I don't know you can plug it in there use the uh web the robot mode port there's just enough room for it actually if you uh plug it in ooh not enough yeah you can plug it in right there it's a it's a modular system you can uh make up whatever you want. I'm just showing you what the instructions. Thankfully, I actually appreciate the instructions because they show you all three modes <laughs> instead of two modes that are based well, like, I don't want to say they're nothing, but like like the instructions actually showed me each of the alt modes. I didn't have to oh, uh, I guess the same thing for grease pit. I don't know. I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, and also the instructions show him with the uh, sort of tower pit bit on his shoulder, which I don't like. I like the full long gun. But overall, I generally do think he's the the best one. It's a shame, like, this alt mode's kind of limp and a floppy. But overall, I like his three modes. They're all vastly different to each other. And they're also very, uh, I don't know, hmm, I'm trying to remember which, oh, yeah. <laughs> Putting them back into robot mode has always been a bit confusing for me, just because the arm bits look almost exactly the same. And, yeah. I definitely, as I was saying, think he's the best of the modulators. At least when it comes to Earthrise. 
Brunt was probably the best one from Siege. And oh no, that I you between Cog, Six Gun, Brunt, I no, I, that'd be a hard task coming up with which one's the best one. I I de also te tend to forget which uh of these bitch bits plugs back into which leg. I tend to get them wrong the first time, but that was actually a surprise that I got it right. There we go. Uh, I definitely think this guy is a, is definitely recommended. You could do something of an armament. It's not in the instructions, but I, I imagine you could. Don't know exactly what it would be, but... I'm sure people have Frankensteined him onto others. But whether you get this guy or his repaint hot house, who I don't even think is out yet. He may be out, I'm not sure. I definitely recommend getting your hands on at least one version of this mold. And checking him out. Because he's just a damn good toy. Most of his modes are solid. They held together well. The transformations are uh, memorable. I love the robot mode. I love his hilarious, hilarious body shape. And overall, yeah, he's just a damn good toy. He's definitely, hmm, I don't know if, he, if he's, he's definitely the more solid choice between him and RC. Because that, ugh, that kibble. Hmm. But I think I've mentioned all the tiny nitpicks I had throughout the review. So I think I'll just wrap up by saying, hey, you can watch this video two days earlier than anyone on YouTube on patreon.com slash 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 that weird collector. Along with, you can get your name at the end credits after as shout outs, along with uh, special access to previous streams I've done of uh, predominantly Mario Maker and Smash. Those are all exclusive to Patreon when I upload them there or when I get when I put them up there kind of thing. So there'll be a link in the description. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. This guy has nothing to do with radios, so I don't know why he's named Airwave, other than it's G1 Acura. Coming to you live on FM radio, going all across planet Cybertron. So until next time, keep it weird. Bye.